Hi, I'm Vitaly Semenov, an entrepreneur, software engineer, marketer, and a writer. I have succeeded with many projects and have in businesses in the past, and I'm here to share, contribute my experience, knowledge, and hard work with a sense of integrity to make this world a better place. One of my favorite statements is the phrase, we are not what we think we are, but what we think we are. If you truly get this, and I mean not just, wow, this is a great sounding statement, but the depth of it applied to reality, when you hear it, and you can tell right away several situations that you've been in that would be a perfect example. There are many different ways to look at this statement. Of course, as almost everything in life, you can give a different meaning to just about anything. After all, words are just waves in elastic medium which are sensed by our receptors and afterwards interpreted by our brain into meaning. But in this particular situation, the core meaning as I would percept it would be simply a self-concept generated by our understanding of who we're supposed to be dictated by the conditions of our past, current life situation, other people, versus projecting your thoughts into reality, making them your action, and realizing them. In other words, who we think we will become, but not we who we already think we have to be. I think, and from my real life experience, this is one of the most core keys to get started on a journey of success and fulfillment. If you truly get this concept and apply it in reality, then it's one of the first steps. Being confident in what you would like to achieve is an extremely important factor in starting your own business. If I wouldn't have a confident personality, I would never embark on challenges that I have. And in fact, you don't have to have that type of personality to begin with. You can train yourself to be that way, if you truly desire. This is one of the powerful examples of the phrase I originally stated. So, it's simple. To start a business, change your state of mind, and apply it into an immediate action. Once you understand that, you alone create it. Not the circumstances, not your past, not somebody that told you what can be done or can't. Your thoughts and state of mind can make that step. And after you put your mind in that state, you can start applying the mechanics pulling resources, finding the right people, whatever is necessary to achieve your goal. But just remember, you have to think beyond things are the way they are at this point. Because nobody truly knows how things really are ultimately. You are the creator and director of your own reality. The possibilities are endless. And with this way the technology now these days, with the vast amount of information at your fingertips, to help you along the way, media to refer to, many other resources to tap into, you have the ultimate advantage to achieve the results you desire. Thanks for watching, and next time I'll be talking about failure, how to face it psychologically, steps to take and handle it, and more practical way. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.